Hello everybody and welcome to our Flackers Photos tutorial. I wasn't going to film this intro originally but I've got a few things I just wanted to say and the first thing is a massive thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel in the past day. I'd like to thank the man Wolf Johnson for that. I mean he, he shouted out my channel yesterday, it's a very loving thing to do. I love you brother. You know he, he's very supportive, he's helped me a lot recently and I'm very appreciative for that. It's been a dream of mine for like a while to start a YouTube channel and I just, I, I never get around to doing it, but like I had a chat with a few people recently and I've had some like advice and a lot of positive things that people have said. Like my mate Ren told me that like, you know, you gotta start and you just gotta make the content to go on the channel. And it's just the time and the effort that you put into it and eventually it may pay off but if you don't do it, it it will never pay off so it's like it's good advice and I mean he's just hit a million subscribers so congratulations to him so like obviously his hard work over the years has definitely paid off and it's very well deserved I've got a few things on the go yeah, we're going to the secret garden party I'm gonna bring a film camera with me and I'm gonna bring my GoPro and I'm gonna try and vlog while I'm there as well as I'm capturing a few bits of the show I'd like to say thank you to Connor for the ticket you know I'm very grateful for the chance to go up there we're going in a group I thought it'd be a really exciting place to capture some stuff on camera which is you know, I'm a bit nerdy about that stuff, so I'm going to bring my camera with me. The video today is going to be a video on how to make videos look cinematic using one small effect. I'm not making like a whole video teaching you how to make cinematic video because I mean actually what is cinematic video. There's one simple trick that I find works when you're trying to make video look cinematic. And for me, it's to do with the way that TVs used to look back in the day. TVs used to be square. It used to have an aspect ratio of four to three. But if you ever notice, when you go to cinemas, they're big fat wide screens. So the problem that they used to have was when a movie got released from the cinema and it was like on, I don't know, DVD, VCD, whatever it was, people used to use videotapes, you know. All the generations of take home movies that you had, they would have one problem was people's TV sets were square. So what would happen was either they'd end up cutting off both ends of the movie and you'd lose some of the movie or they'd put these two bars in. And what these bars did was that lowered the amount of space that the screen had so you could fit a widescreen on a square screen. And it's why you used to see bars there and it's why they came out with widescreen TVs. We can, we can see a, a movie without the bars on. So yeah, that, that's why they used to exist, but I don't know if it only relates to people that grew up at the time of there being square TVs or whether it's a thing that's been passed down through generations. The moment there are black bars on either side of your film or your video or whatever, it gives it a cinematic look. So today I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that using Premiere Pro. You can do it on every single editing software, but I use Premiere Pro, so that's what I'm going to show you. Yeah, so I'm going to show you right now how to add uh, the black bars on Adobe Premiere Pro to your video. So now this is my introduction video What I'm gonna do really quickly is just show you how I added those Those black bars so If you have a color grading on your video or anything you generally put it in an adjustment layer It's just easier because you can span it across multiple clips like I I I could have just literally put my color grading straight onto this clip because there's one. But it's just a habit of mine. I'll, I'll usually have a few adjustment layers and I'll add different things and they'll usually span across a different set of videos if that makes sense. So if you want to add this cropping effect to all of your video, the best thing you can do is put it on the adjustment layer and pull that adjustment layer across all your video. It means that you don't have to individually go into every single clip and crop it. So, in order to show you, I wonder if it's in this one. Basically, what I do is you click on, like, let's say the adjustment layer or the clip, and it's on the clip in this. So, you know what? I'm going to delete it. There we go, clear. I'm going to show you how to get it from the very beginning, and I'm going to put it on the adjustment layer because it's generally a lot better to do that than put it on your clip. Like, it's just a good habit to get because you'll end up 
just doing it the other way if you don't do it the right way and why not just do it the right way every single time i mean there is no right way but you know what i mean the the more helpful way you should just do it the more helpful way every time okay so what you want to do is you want to go into effects in effects you want to find crop so i'm just going to type crop up here because it's easy there we go, it's in transform under video effects. We grab crop, we're going to drag it across and drop it on our adjustment layer. Now it's on our adjustment layer, we're going to scroll down. And the thing about it is, I'm going to show you the video quickly with no crop on it. So this is the video with absolutely no crop on it. All right, let's drag that across again. Uh, okay, so now the crop is on there. We're going to scroll down to it. Personally, I don't think there's a set rule on how big you could make the bars. I think it's generally down to like personal choice. I am going to go with. I think I went with 8 or 7 for this video, but I don't know, let's see what 10 looks like. I don't think I did enough, personally. Like, I watched it back and I thought, uh, you could kind of like lose them. There, 10. I think 10 actually looks really nice. But look at the difference. Like, is that just me? But suddenly it's got like an extra bit in there, it's like an effect. It's like almost bordering your photos on Instagram when you upload them. Like, I don't think you should ever use white borders, I think you should use black borders, especially for colour photography. If you ever want to make a colour photo look cinematic, put a black border on it and it will look very cinematic. I mean, white borders are lovely, don't get me wrong. but. No one ever had, well, at least as far as I know, no one ever had white bars on their TV when they watched movies, did they? So, if you want to get a cinematic look with your photography, do this. Put a black border on it. It'll look sick. If you want to get it with your video, do what I've just shown you. I'm not sure how you do it in DaVinci. I'm pretty sure it'd probably be as simple as this. This is the most simple thing ever. It takes like five seconds. Maybe a bit longer. It takes like 35 seconds and you've got a cinematic video. Well, not a cinematic. You've got a video that looks more cinematic. There are so many little things that you can do to your videos before you release them that don't take long and they just fine tune it that little bit and they could just make what seems like the tiniest of difference. But when it's someone else watching your video, they'll notice because people notice these sorts of things and like if you've ever watched youtubers like i don't know nelk these groups of pranksters that have become massive on youtube and you watch their videos and you'll notice that on their videos they look ultra high budget but i'm telling you i'm telling you right now they're not investing in state-of-the-art cameras and stuff like that. I mean, they might be, but I bet you they've got, like, I don't know, a, just a decent video camera. And what they're doing is they're recording in, like, 4K or something. They're getting someone to do some good color editing. And then they're putting in things like these black borders and stuff like that. There's just making their videos look good. You can make your video cinematic from home. You don't need to buy like a £10,000 camera just to make a cinematic video. You can use whatever you really want to. It's about the small minute details and things. Well, that's, uh, that's my tutorial. Thank you for watching and catch you next time. Thank you. Like and subscribe.